Hello, this is Jules Van Sant with Bubble and Hatch Marketing Communications. I welcome you today on behalf of the Graphic Arts Advisors and the Target Report interviews. And I'm very excited today to have Mike Kellogg, the former CEO of Century Direct in Islandia, New York, to join us. Welcome. Thank you for having me. And using um, those advisors, using people in your sphere to support you, how important is it that they're industry specific, um, given the graphic communication space and the different nuances within a printing company? Well, you know, it's it's interesting. I was um, a chairman of a national association, so I had a lot of um, contact with the industry guys over a long period of time and without any necessarily any intention of using them. Uh, and um, so as we came to the decision to sell, uh, we didn't just look at industry guys. We also looked at uh, our bank has a plethora of people who wanted to talk to us about transitioning this business. Every time I spoke to them, they talked as if everything was the same. It doesn't matter if you're a law firm or a printing company or a hair salon. It's just business. And, you know, especially at the beginning of this long road, my, my impression was that they, they don't, they're giving me short shrift here. Um, <laughs> they, they we're not the same. Um, and of course, what they're saying from, you know, an arm's length uh, type of thing is that the elements of a financial statement all uh, have to be there. But uh, the types of uh, uh, of issues that a manufacturing, a custom manufacturing plant like ours encounters versus even a, a more, uh, a bigger printer that prints on a subscription basis, uh, the, the elements are going to be different. But I think even more so, is who is interested in buying this sort of asset. And if you're going to maximize your value, you're going to have to find a buyer who is doing it for a reason other than flipping. So uh, obviously there's venture capital out there that's interested in our trade. Uh, but when you're looking for somebody who's going to take this asset and maximize it and combine it with other like assets and create more wealth, you're going to get a higher value for your business. And that, in my estimation, requires that you speak with somebody who really truly knows how you your uh, your build can complement the aspirations of someone else who is looking to grow as well. Well, Mike, thank you for your time today. Appreciate your insights on the transaction, your history with um, your career, your choices, and where you're going today. Thank you very much. Thank you.